2,500 won't get you much in Manhattan, but in Astoria, you can get a brand new apartment with a balcony, all high-end finishes in a building that's got an elevator and a roof deck. And since it's only 30 minutes away from Midtown, you'd be crazy not to take this considering it's twice the size of anything in Manhattan for the same price. That would make no sense. Let's go take a look. Just got off the train right here at Astoria Boulevard. This is the closest train station to the apartment and it'll get you to Midtown in 30 minutes. Also, unfortunately, right next to the train station, there's a Dunkin' Donuts waiting to sell you some terrible coffee. Do yourself a favor and buy this instead. It's the same thing for way cheaper. You've got a local deli on the corner. Next to that, there's a little Mexican place. If you like Greek junk food, you are gonna love Astoria. How do you like the neighborhood. Oh my god, it's too cool. I'm super excited. So I live in Nashville right now. I'm moving up to New York in a couple of months. I think this right here is a CrossFit. I'm sure that in addition to an obnoxious membership fee, you have to promise to tell everyone you know that you go here. And I bet the instructor has a beard. Now, lucky for us, once we get away from that noisy train station, everything in Astoria is quiet and residential. And that's a good thing. If you want to live in a wild and crazy part of town, Manhattan is where you should be looking because this is definitely a lot more laid back. There's also a bunch of restaurants around here. Over here you've got a little fish restaurant. Here we've got a grill where they serve pizza and Mexican food. This seafood place is really good. If it's not off the hook yet, you probably shouldn't eat it unless you want to get food poisoning. But seriously, that place, I've eaten there several times, really good. Over here you can buy a musical instrument and lessons in how to play it. Anyone want to guess if they make most of their money selling actual instruments or through the lessons let me know george's deli you might not know this but in astoria half the town is named george it's a very greek neighborhood but even though it's a greek neighborhood there's an irish bar on the corner right here somehow surviving fun fact this is the same corner that the apartment's located on so as long as you're on your best behavior and you don't get kicked out of here, you can visit and potentially get discounts. But if you get kicked out, you can always make your own drinks by visiting this liquor store. And over here, just one block away is Steinway. You will find a ton of other restaurants and bars all over the place. And that's good. This is an area of town where it's easy to go out and have a good time. You don't have to go very far at all. Just consider joining that CrossFit because you're probably gonna eat a lot. Now, let's head right over here and check out the apartment. This place is sweet. Just look at all that sunlight. Let's check out the balcony. This is pretty sweet. You can see all the way down the block and having something like this is definitely a cool feature. You could put a couple chairs out here and a small table. This would be a nice spot to hang out. Also, the building that we're in has some really cool amenities. It also comes with parking on the other side of this garage. You're saving so much money on rent, you might as well buy a car. There's also a fantastic roof deck here. All the best parts of Manhattan are visible from up top on this roof. You can also see the bridges that lead out of the city. Got some tables, got some outside lounge furniture, and this ladder, which is probably only for emergencies. Seriously though, this is pretty cool. If you have friends and you wanna hang out with them up here, you can do that. Also in the basement, this storage unit comes with the apartment. If your broken bones have healed and you no longer wish to play the keyboard, you can keep that stuff down here. There's also a fitness center here, which is great. You don't have to spend money on a gym membership of your own and it looks like the weights go up to 75 pounds if you take steroids you can still live here and there's also a bike room if you've got a bike you don't have to store it in your apartment which totally defeats the point of buying this type of folding bicycle the building's pet friendly there's cute animals that live here if you have fun watching hit the thumbs up and subscribe i make between three and six videos a week and i don't want you to miss one
Right here's the front door, then you've got the kitchen, and it looks like there's a little hall closet here. That's gonna make a great coat closet. You've also got video intercom, so you can see what's going on outside. That person who says they're delivering your Amazon package, this will help you make sure they're not a stalker. The living room's great, 11 feet by 18 feet, five inches. I was told this couch will be taken outside and burned, unless you really wanna keep it, but to me it looks like burning it is the right idea. But I'm glad this is here, it gives us a good idea of how easy this is going to be to set up. Right across from this, you can have your entertainment center. And right over here at the kitchen, you've got a spot to sit and eat. This is almost like a kitchen table. You could get some stools on this side as well. And that means you could have people over for dinner without also having a dining table in the living room. Over here, we've got a little closet, which has your AC. Never mind. The kitchen itself is a total home run. Full-size fridge, full-size dishwasher, four burner stove with a vent. And not only do you get a microwave, but look at this, you've got a laundry machine right here in the apartment. This is a washer dryer combo. It'll clean your clothes and dry them. Is there a sprayer for the sink? Yes, there is. You've also got plenty of outlets, which means you can plug in that bread maker you got for Christmas and haven't bothered to use yet. There's also a fire extinguisher, and that's good. If you have a kitchen disaster, you can try to put the fire out yourself while experts from the fire department are on the way. Now, the bedroom here is also really good. It's got the same view as what we had in the living room. And check out the closets. There's a lot of storage space in here, that's for sure. Two closets means that if you're me and you're sharing a room like this with your wife, she gets both of them. This room is 12 feet 6 inches by 10 feet 5 inches. You're probably going to want the bed over here, right across from where the closets are in that corner. Because if you put it there, getting to the closets or getting out of the room is gonna be pretty easy. And if the bedroom storage isn't enough for you, right out here in the hall, there's another closet, which would most likely end up being mine. Love the storage space in this apartment. It's actually really good. And next to this closet is the bathroom, which is really, really nice. You've got a bathtub with a sliding glass door. The sink here is really big. Look at all that counter space around it. You've also got vanity lights above the mirror, which, turns into a medicine cabinet. And if you want even more storage down here, beneath the sink, it looks like we've got even more. The only downside with this bathroom is that it doesn't have a window, but up here, there is a ceiling fan, which I'm a fan of. Huge shout out to the listing team. If you wanna live here, talk to Jeremy at Modern Spaces. All their information is in the video description if you wanna rent it. Let's see some more apartments, pick an apartment tour, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.